Now, KLBK Sports Connection. Well, hello everyone and welcome into your KLBK Sports Connection. I'm Marielle Schaefer. And I'm Faith Douglas. Well, Faith, Texas Tech football hosted their 2023 Pro Day today at the football training facility. 15 guys participating in front of two dozen NFL scouts. And now we got to see almost every event today besides the vertical jump and the bench press. But I will say every single guy who worked out today did turn lots of heads of many of those scouts watching. Yes, it was pretty cool to see the Texas Tech facilities filled with NFL scouts. And in those attendance of the scouts was reigning Super Bowl champs. Kansas City mm -hmm. Chiefs were represented today, almost kind of deja vu to 2017 yeah, totally. whenever Patrick Mahomes was doing the very same thing right here in Lubbock. Mm -hmm. After getting measured, though, for the vertical jump and the bench press, the first event that we got to watch in action today was the broad jump. And a couple of guys caught a second glance from some of the scouts based on their jumps before they ever even got to the main event, the 40-yard dash. That's right. That was the main attraction and the one that everyone looks forward to the most, right? That 40 yard dash. Now, a lot of athletes did tell us after everything wrapped up today that they did have the opportunity and they chose to run it outside due to them hoping to post a faster time. Now, some highlights from this event specifically had eyes on the receivers, running backs and the defensive line. Receiver Chidarius Townsend ran a 444, his fastest time of the day. Defensive tackle and former Big 12 weight throw champion Gabe Oladipo ran a 497 and that is a wicked fast for a guy who's only played one season of D1 football and is listed at 295 pounds. Now, Sir Roger Thompson ran a 4.65, his best time yet, edging out his combine time by just a little. Um, obviously, I wanted to build on what I did at the combine, and so uh, I felt like I did that today. I had faster times than um, almost everything that I ran and did, so that was a, that was a, good, a good thing to see. Also participating today in some action from Texas Tech special teams, kicker Trey Wolf working along, out alongside Jonathan Garibay, who declared for the NFL draft last year. And Wolf's last season, he helped Tech win two high-stakes games, one against Texas to beat the Longhorns on Tech's home turf in overtime. And Tech's last game at the Jones AT&T Stadium also went into overtime against the Oklahoma Sooners. And Trey Wolf kicked the field goal to win that game as well. These two will go down in Texas Tech football history as the only time the Red Raiders have ever beat UT and OU and in the same season, both one with a field goal from Trey Wolf. Coming back to Lubbock for Pro Day, Wolf was excited to see his former head coach Joey McGuire, but Wolf has also been finding his support and motivation through some of his, uh, one of his biggest fans and his travel partner in this whole process. It's so mental that um, what they pushed across to us and what McGuire pushed across, across to us was huge for my development into what I am today. So I'm glad he came here, helped me out a lot. And just seeing him out here today and screaming, you know, yelling at us is just big. I mean, she's my biggest supporter. You know, she'll leave word, come help me, come shag balls and stuff. And um, drove me the whole way here, didn't want me driving. <laughs> uh, kind of like a whatever I need type of thing as far as kicking. But yeah, she's extremely supportive of me. And Trey Wolf's wife that he's talking about there is McKimmel Wolf, who mm -hmm. told me today that not only has, been sh has she been shagging balls for him in practice, but she is also now his agent oh, that he that. says, which is really sweet, honestly, for a married couple. Oh, I love that. Right well, out of college. Oh, yeah, too. no, 100 <laughs> percent. But we're going to move on to another athlete that we spoke to at day one of Texas Tech's potential highest draft athletes is edge rusher Tyree Wilson. He didn't work out today, but he's not having any trouble turning the heads of the NFL scouts so far. Yes, Wilson is a guy that was kind of hard to miss at pro day, standing at 6'6", 271 pounds. He was walking around shaking hands with NFL scouts, and though he didn't work out here today, Tyree made the decision last year not to declare for the NFL draft and instead to play a second season under Joey McGuire. You know, I've been ramping up, uh, trying to get ready for the drills. The plan was to work out at pro day, but um, I needed the hardware, hardware out before, you know, combine rechecks was April 13th, so um, it was best just to get the hardware out before I go on the visits and, you know, after the get the stitches out, plan on just ramp it up and be ready to go for a workout after the visits. I definitely, you know, could have went to the league, uh, but me and Coach Bro Coach McGuire both knew that it was a, another level I could take, and it was a best decision for me to come back, and it's paid off, and being able to be a player under him and help develop me and take my game to another level has been good. 
and lots of great stuff. It's sure going to be exciting to see who gets the opportunity to play in the NFL as we're about a month away from the 2023 NFL draft as the first round will take place on April 27th in Kansas City. Yes, and Tyree told us today that he is expecting to be in Kansas City for the draft and will walk across the stage to shake Roger Goodell's hand. But for now, that is it for sports. For more KLBK news at 6 coming up after the break.